So we gonna have a couples weekend. Oh, and Mariah's on the way. Oh, Simon's already here. Oh, we get to meet Preston's boyfriend, Donald. Oh, they're so cute together. So we gonna ask Preston if we could bring Phil to couples night. Why? I don't need to see Phil anymore. I I'm good with the drama in the group. Well, we could use some better drama in the group, but we still getting to know him. Round season three, that's when we'll really get the good interconnection drama. Okay, they moving in together. Preston and his boyfriend just got their first place and they gonna move in together. Those are fun times, but it's the moving out that's awful. I really don't know anymore. Do I want to live with someone or is it just smarter to keep your own place that way? <laughs> I can just be with you because I'm with you. I have to worry about on, on days when I don't want to deal with you, I can just stay home. Amir bringing her girlfriend back and this is their first time meeting her as well. I can tell, I don't think they like Natalie. I don't think they want to meet this heifer. They all got a rolled eye. They try not to roll their eyes on camera, but I can feel it. I can feel it. She don't like touchy Summer. So Summer already Amir's girlfriend and she wasn't that warm or welcoming. So we get to the event and it is beautiful overlooking the harbor. The food look good. So Mariah and Phil is going to show up together. So Mariah wants a public apology from Amir. And he's like, no, you got put out for putting your hands on Bria. You chose to overreact. I'm with him on that. He did not cause you to act that much of a fool. You decided to get hype and put your finger in her face. Shout out to Rob the Throb. Now Rob the Fired. Jordan, however, takes off because she ain't going to deal with Phil. But he pulls the guys aside and apologizes to them, too. Oh, but he drunk and tried to blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. And the guys really aren't trying to hear it. Phil really is an ass. Amir said, you got to let me finish at least one sentence. <laughs> Look who came through with the read. A baby read. But at least he tried to apologize, even though they weren't here for it. And we move on. And then the party ends and we chant for Shanice and she hopping on her way out. And hop, and hop, and hop. That's how your friends support you. So we get back to the house. Everybody gets ready for Freak Nick. These costumes kind of cute. I don't know how Alex found time to do all them tattoos. Amir and his girlfriend moved in together after two months of dating. That's fast. She gonna get that show shawl. He talk about a proposal and they're working together as realtors. Ah, I could see him getting with her and being like, look, let's be this couple du jour so we can get the Bravo Billions. The rest of the group is like, really? With the heifer you just met? All right. So we get to play and never have I ever as the evening wears on. So Summer got a little attitude. Oh, God. So while Bria and Summer is trying to hash it out, Jordan and Shanice is playing with the wig in the background taking pictures, and they're like, oh wait, no, we weren't making fun of you. I was just taking pictures in the wig, but the damage may have been done. Oh God, so now Summer crying, Noelle comes in and she's like, I just wanna make sure we cool. Summer, however, is jealous of Noelle, Shanice, and Bria having they little in group. Aw, Summer, I get being overwhelmed by life. So Summer apologizes to Bria. Bria's whining that she gets ganged up on even though you bring it on yourself. Summer says, I have your back, Bria. And Bria says, do you? But she's like, I ain't even gonna say why well, I don't think you have my back. I'll just save that for another episode. Oh, God. So now Summer start crying and leaving. She says, fuck you, Bria. I, she just drunk. So now Noelle running after Summer, 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 Summer. She just want a scene. Noelle, how many times you gonna say Summer, 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 Oh, God. All right. Well, that was the shit. And I'm going to see you soon for something like Housewives of Beverly Hills. I have forgotten about that Vanderpump show. So let's check those people out too. Because I like that first episode. We open with Telly screaming at Marciano. The other girl's like, look, we have guests. Can, can we not in front of the guest? So Andre going to step in to defend Telly against Marciano, even though she pushed him pretty good. However, Hannah gonna have Marciano's back. She's like, well, he was the head server doing what he had to do. You're all unprofessional. And you're all drinking behind the bar when you shouldn't be. Wait till the people go to bed. So, Telly's upset. She says, y'all were letting this man yell at me. Eric said, no, I intervened right after you pushed him. Now, he may have been yelling, but that don't give you a right to put your hands on nobody. Because that does escalate things. 
Child back at the table, Marciano taking shots with the guests again. However, Steven sees him drinking and he's like, mm, I don't know if that's a good idea, boo. So Eric's like, I'm gonna get Lisa involved so she knows what's what. So we got an emergency 10 a.m. meeting with Lisa the next morning. So Marciano wants to blame the evening on nerves and she's like, no, you was drunk. You supposed to be a great server. You nervous about eight people? Nerves, boy boom. However, Vanderpump take uh, Telly out to talk to her privately because she didn't fess up to drinking behind the bar. Telly said, well, I was giving the drinks out because I'm trying to make friends. I didn't want to tell them no. So after that, she give Telly a little pep talk and we go back in the house. So Marciano apologizes to Telly and they get on the good foot. But now we got to set up for the secret proposal with the Paris theme outside. Oh, God. But then he talking to his ex-girlfriend, might be girlfriend, show snatch Hannah, and she kissed somebody on the cheek, and he's like, well, if I did that, you'd be upset. Child, if she doing crap like that, it's already time to move on. Ken Vanderpump looks so old, he looks dead. I was like, what kind of corpse is on my screen? Girl, let him go to glory with the Lord. So the proposal is beautiful. And I can't get a man to take me across the street. Child. But the next day, Hannah gets mad that Priscilla be sitting spreading her legs wide open in front of Marciano. Girl, I don't think you need to be dating him. You got too many emotions about him and he don't have them about you. Find a man that's devoted to you like that man that just proposed. Marciano ain't none of that. So Hannah gonna try to clear the air with Priscilla. Priscilla's like... Girl, I was just sitting there. It's, oh, oh my God. So the guests fill out their comment cards and head on. And Andre and Telly got the highest marks on the guest cards. Lord, Andre crying. But I like him though. He's coming off real likable. That's what we want. We want you to parlay this into you opening your own bar. I'd love to see it. Just strong and sensitive. Oh, that's what you could call it. Strong and sensitive. But now we're all sitting around, hanging out, and this is when the drama starts. So Priscilla gonna come back at Hannah since she's like, really, girl? So Priscilla sees Gabriella got her legs open, and she's like, wait a minute, hold on, why ain't Hannah checking you? So she leaves. So she bring it to Hannah. She said, why don't you say nothing? Hannah says, oh, I didn't see it. Hannah said, are you gonna let it go or no? No, I'm not gonna let it go. You brought it up. Gabriella's like, well, you were sitting next to him. I wasn't near him. But now Telly come in on Priscilla's side. So she leave and Hannah's still whining about it. She's like, that's weird. No, it's weird that you worried this much about a man that ain't worried about you. That's what's weird. Because if he into you, that girl could be sitting nude. He ain't going to care. Oh, God. Hannah, you really are upset about your own actions. And she brought up how insecure you is in front of the other women. So if they want to play with his pain, they know they can. And quiet as it's kept, I feel like he would sleep with them just to piss you off, girl. So Hannah walks out of the kitchen into the other room and says, I'm mad at you. Marciano trying to calm her down. He's like, can we please not do this? No, that, that's what she does. And two, it's time for camera time. So now Hannah's screaming, shut up at her. Oh, God. You're a bitch, you're a bitch. Marciano doesn't have my back. No, you're, you're acting a fool. You're acting a fool. All right, let's get to the next episode. Andre's like, Hannah, you really that insecure? Show is. He he don't care, but also he can't stand with you and your bad behavior. And I respect him for it. Oh, God. So now Hannah and uh, Mauricio are going to have a conversation for the guests to come so they can actually work. Okay, but now it looks like Eric going to uh, try to get everybody in line before these guests show up. So he keep talking about, you'll see the nasty side come out. Girl, sit down. So the chef gets irritated with Eric because she's like, you ain't got to cut me off like that. Hannah, you feel like you're not vibing with anyone, really? I wonder why. So this week's guest is celebrating her facial feminization with a butterfly rebirth party. Trans people got money too. I love to see it. So the chef goes to talk with Eric and Eric's like, I've got my seed. That honestly is the look on his face. It's just really about his scene plan. <laughs> oh, Lord. But while Caroline's trying to have a moment with Eric, she done forgot a croissant and let it burn. So Marciano goes to tell Caroline about her croissants. 
Then she's like, oh, you just left the croissant in there? Well, it was already burnt. It's a croissant. It's, it's already ruined. Then she gonna say, oh, well, can you handle it? He said, no, that's your, you're the chef. Yeah, I'm staying out your kitchen. Don't they always say stay out the kitchen? I don't think Marciano was rude. I think you forgot the croissants. You are the one in charge of the kitchen. He's got other stuff to do. Oh, Lord. Marciano gonna put the burnt croissant on her bed. Who are you, Juicy? Bringing the black balloon to the reunion? Oh, God. So now Carolyn's telling him, you want to act like a man, you're so childish, which it was, which it was. Oh, dang, can they turn this fire alarm off? It's getting on my nerve. All right, but now the guests are here. Showtime. So now Eric's trying to have the guests eat dessert somewhere else, which ain't according to Lisa's vision. But the guests did say they wanted something new. So Steven tells Eric, you know, you overstepping a bit telling us to just set something up when we have everything all according to Lisa's plan. Oh, but now we find out Steven wanted to be the manager and he's like, well, you need to manage since I'm not stepping up. And Eric, what, what are you doing? So the next morning, Steven hopes he can get on the same page with Eric. So he asks him, look, when you have something to do with events, I'm the event coordinator. Could you just pull me in the loop? But it's time for our floral and fun breakfast. So Eric moving the floral breakfast, not to the terrace, but where Gabriella was going to have an event. And she's like, look, we need this space to set up for that later. Ooh, Harlan gets to have an English tea with Lisa. I'd like to have a tea with her. I'd love to pick her brain about the restaurant business. So now Lisa come downstairs and she's like, why the hell are you moving where breakfast is served? So she pull him aside and say, Why'd you put this on the lawn? We don't want them having events in the same space. So he said, okay, Lisa, I won't change nothing no more. So now he's mad at Steven for telling Lisa he moved breakfast. Lisa saw, you moved breakfast, it was obvious. So then he grabs an umbrella and starts whining. If this y'all's event stepping up, I'm tired of doing everybody's job. So now Steven's chasing Eric and Eric's like, I'm not doing your job. So they get to arguing in front of Lisa. Well, really, it's Eric monologuing. So Gabriella goes to get the cake for Harlan's party, and she takes Andre with them. Mm-hmm. And Andre might have a little thing for her. I don't know if I like her for you. I don't know if I like her just yet. I like you. I don't know if I like her. Child, Grace, the housekeeper, she crying because the other girl's wearing makeup, and you don't feel like it. Just be you. The men ain't here ain't worth the makeup. The men in here ain't worth makeup. So we get to Harlan's ball, and this is fabulous. Although you got to have that dress taken in, honey. Uh-oh, Grace like Andre, too. Oh, Gabriella. Now, this is actually really sweet. Gabriella said, I would consider Gray, but I love Grace, and I'm a girl's girl, so I'm going to let her have Adam. That is honor and class. I love it. Shit, I like Andre, too. <laughs> Lord, but uh, Eric decides to take a couple shots to the head. And Telly's like, child, I ain't gonna stop you, but I ain't put it in your hand. Oh, Lord, he give her a strip tease in the next episode. All right, well, that was the shit, and I'm gonna see you soon for some more Housewives.